Mailbag time. Mailbag time. Get a lot of questions. Uh, so this one is from Adventure World, who left a nice comment question on my Instagram channel, JCN Law. Uh, and he writes, hi, Jonathan. Love your insight. Just curious. You say a man can prevent from getting in trouble during divorce if he does a proper prenup. What about alimony? I'm assuming the man in the prenup can put, if there is a divorce, he'll put in, he can give her a certain percentage of his income. Uh, is that true? What about child support? Now, I paraphrased a little bit what he wrote uh, to try for clarity reasons, actually. So let me preface the answer with it depends. It really depends upon your jurisdiction when you're talking prenup law. The laws vary so widely from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. You could be in a place like uh, Ohio and then across the border into Kentucky or Pennsylvania across the bridge, the Ben Franklin or Walt Whitman Bridge into New Jersey or the T Tacony Palmyra Bridge into New Jersey. And the law prenup laws will change. So here is some food for thought. In most jurisdictions that I'm familiar with, Alimony can be addressed in a prenup, okay? But here's your caveat. In some jurisdictions that treat prenups like contracts between two consenting adults, you can waive alimony completely if you both agree to it with all the other I's dotted and T's crossed, full and fair disclosure, enough time before the wedding, uh, and any other statutory requirement. Uh, but, Child support, I don't know of any jurisdiction that will waive child support in a prenup. Why? It's two people, the two parents, they should be able to decide because the law generally looks at it like it's the child's benefit that's being waived and you don't have the right to decide that your child is going to waive their benefit. So what can you do about that? Well, one, don't have any children. Uh, or don't have children unless the person's carefully vetted. Because if the, even if in a prenup or if you have an agreement without getting married and saying, you know, even if we split up and we move far away and we can't share custody equally, child support will be capped or will be this amount. It's not going to hold up. It's not going to hold up in most jurisdictions I'm familiar with. So you are risking a lot if you're not sure that this person is going to be able to co-parent with you and be reasonable. There's no other way to say it. I wish there was. Uh, but alimony, usually yes. In some jurisdictions, though, beware, because they have very strict prenup guidance and prenup statutes. And in other jurisdictions, uh, the prenup has to be fair and reasonable at inception when you sign it and cannot be unconscionable at exit, at divorce. Holy smokes, how the hell do you figure that out? What's going to be fair and reasonable or judge fair and reasonable at inception? If there's no mechanism, there's no court that can order, yeah, this is fair and reasonable at inception and not unconscionable at exit. Well, what's unconscionable? Uh, it's a slippery slope. And if you don't want to get tangled up in that, good for you. Don't get married. Don't get married. I'll keep you out of my office, all right? Uh, I'll play the guitar for you somewhere else. So, great question. Keep them coming. Uh, I know it creates like a clusterfuck of confusion, but the best thing to do is get advice from an attorney licensed in your jurisdiction. And they'll give you the lowdown on what can and can't be in a prenup. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. It's still free. Be careful out there.